What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And welcome back to Sea of Thieves. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the first tall tale in this game. So, the first tall tale is called the Shroud Breaker. I'm pretty sure there's five different tales that you can complete. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be waking, walking through the first one because the first one is the easiest and you can do it on your own. It is really that easy. So, to get on to the first tale, you need to come to your local tavern on one of the outposts. Go in and go over to the mysterious stranger that always lurks in the back. Now, on the right hand side of him, you'll see this book right here. Vote for the uh, tall tale. And this is called the Shroud Breaker. Now, this is number one. Anyone can access it. It's actually that easy. You just uh, vote for it as a quest, and it will pop up. He talks a bit about blah, 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 blah. You don't necessarily have to listen to him. You can if you really want to follow the story. But I don't, and you don't have to either. <clears throat> now, I am doing this on my own just to prove how easy it really is. So... Once you have gone to him, you will notice in your wheel of missions, you'll get this handy dandy little book. Now this handy, handy dandy little book will basically tell you everything that you kind of need to know for the first stage of this. So you can go through all the storyline right there, if you so wish, but you don't have to read that bit, all that bit, all that bit. You basically want to come to page 10 to tell you where you need to go next. So we go in to... Crook's Hollow and Crooked Mass. Between them is an un uncharted island where you will need to go to find the Magpie's Wing, which is a sunken ship, and you you need to recover the ship's log to carry on the story of the Shroud Breaker. So that is what we are going to do. We're going to find Crooked Mass. There we go. Crooks Hollow, Crooked Mast, so it's rough. It's roughly about in the middle-ish. Once you come to around about that area, you'll see the island anyway. Basically, just go to that island, and you're pretty much there. Uh, so, all I can say is stock up your ship before you leave, and yeah. And I'll meet you over at the Uncharted Island. So, mortals, we are, are arriving at the Uncharted Island. As you can see, that is it in front of us. I need to be very careful, but quickly show you on the map. We are coming up to the point that is roughly uh, where the island is. It's only a rough mark. So, once you've found the island, we basically need to go to... Okay, I'm not getting close to that. We need to go to the north-west-ish shore, which is that one over there. Jump in the water. We need to get a bit closer. Because I don't want to go all that way. Okay, maybe not that much. Didn't mean that much. There we go. We don't want to get too close because the island stretches out pretty far. Always got to keep a lookout because there's several things that could go terribly wrong for me right here. So, uh, yeah, a ship's not going to go nowhere that massive. So, we're going to jump in to the water now you basically just gotta search around for the ship mortals it's literally it, it's a sunken ship it's pretty big it's like most sunken ships so there's the front half of it we want the captain's quarters which is over here as you can see we go into the captain quarters then on the actual chair is what we need to do. So once I get the thing to pick it up, we'll pick it up. We'll swim back out and go to our ship. Now this log should lead us to some kind of treasure that they had. But they threw it off their ship. So that is what we are going to find. We're going to find a chest that contains the next clue to the puzzle. And then it also leads us to the next location we need to go. So, let's get back to our ship. Now we're here. We can look at the log and we can determine uh, where 
we need to go. So we go to several pages across. This is called the Magpie's Wings Ship's Log. What we need to do. Now this tells you the tale of where the ship went, what the ship did. So anchoring on the south side of Thieves Haven. So we need to go to the south side of Thieves Haven. So that means I've got a five Thieves Haven. So we go to the south side, which is here. That's where we begin our journey. The burning blade, we are fleeing to the northeast. Okay, so we need to go northeast, roughly. So to say we end up there. Past small shallow oils, that is what I have already marked out. A mending course to north by northeast. So we need to go roughly here is kind of the fortress kind of way. Moving on to the next one. Rounding fortified island, now headed west by southwest. So the fortified island, yes, we got that. Now we need to head, what was it, south, uh, not west by southwest. So we're coming kind of back down on ourselves, kind of to Cutlass Cove there. Throwing the chest overboard northeast of a shallow island, now heading north. So basically, we've basically figured it out. So this is the shallow island that they were talking about, Cutlass Bay. We need to go there and on the northeast side of the island we will find the chest now it's most likely underwater so that's where we'll have to go searching but i'll meet you mortals there so mortals we are coming up to our island right here as you can see we just need to slow down a bit make this a bit more of a smoother ride now one thing to note, mortals, all your logs will be completely different. From pirate to pirate, the logs differ, so they will lead you to different islands. But don't be worried, the treasure you get is exactly the same you get in the chest. So even though it hasn't led you to the same island I have, don't be worried. So, let's try and get really neatly parked up here look at our log again we need to look at the last and well the second to last entry is saying the northeast side of the shallow island so mortals i have found the chest so if you ever get stuck just remember what the log says get your compass out if you need to and just swim with your compass you will come across it roughly in the direction they said so as was northeast so if we do follow our compass northeast uh, it's slightly off northeast, but here is the chest. We want to pick this up and now we want to transport it back to our ship. So let's open this up. What we should get is the take the paper, which is more instructions. So if we go to our book, we've unlocked some more pages filled with symbols and everything else, as long as with an eye picture of an island that we need to go to. There are islands. The cave, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So, but we get something else with here. We get a totem. I can't really put it somewhere you can see. We've got a totem. The light under here maybe should work. It's hard to see in the dark, which is kind of sad. These don't give you much light to try and look at it. So you do get different totems more. So you might pull a different one out of the chest you get. But this is the scarab totem. Which will lead us to a, a certain island. So the totems are... I've got all the list of all the totems and where they'll take you more. So don't worry about any of that. So if you get the... Boar Totem, it will take you to Devil's Ridge. If you get the Scarab Totem, like I've got, we're heading to Crook's Hollow. If you get the Snake Totem, you're heading to Mermaid's Hideaway. If you get the Shark Totem, you're heading to Kraken's Fall. If you get the Moon Totem, you're heading to the Crescent Isle. And if you get the Crab Totem, you're heading to an Uncharted Island at N13. So when I say N13, I mean N13 on the map. So you literally go to the coordinate N, then you find 13, 
basically the same island. But yeah, N13, boom, you go there, you go to the Uncharted Island, which is roughly in that location. Uh, so yeah, that is the only one that doesn't have an actual island name, is the Crab Totem. So I have got the Scarab Totem, which has taken me to Crook's Hollow. So I'll meet you there. So I'm us, we are at Crooks Hollow right now. I'm going to circle around to the position that we need to be in. So if you get Crooks Hollow, just like me, I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go. So let's circle the island. We want to get to the part where the waterfall is. That is where exactly we need to go. So that is where I'm actually going to park my ship because it just makes it so much easier. Once you have arrived at your island, you will need then to uh, identify where we're actually right here you'll need to identify where your totem goes so you need to uh, uh, need to find the place that you can put your totem down and once you have found the place and put your totem down it will reveal a secret passage which you can then go in so if you get this one really easy literally walk in here to find the location of where you actually need to put your totem you will see the pictures of your totem so as i've got the scarab totem you notice you've got scarabs on the walls here so this is the exact place that we need to place the totem which will unlock the thing but if you get a different totem just look for the symbols that are associated with the totem itself so if you get the shark you'll see sharks if you get the snakes you'll see snake symbols so on and so forth but now we need to go in so what we need to do we need to light all we need to light all four of these so we need to get a torch out lift it up light 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 it that will close the door on you okay and now we have these symbols right here four pillars for four symbols now we know what these are because they're literally in the book so the first pillar Starting on this side is that symbol right there, which is the Shroud Breaker. So that's the symbol we are going to be looking for. So we just rotate it until we find that symbol, which is that one. And now the rest are easy because it's just the ones with their swords up. So we just rotate them. And there we go. Once you have done that, you will press the button here and it will tell you if the code is correct. And as you can see, mine was. That brings us on to the next code, which is this one, which kind of looks like a boat in a war in some water or so. So we'll go close again. So it's that one. That one. Now the codes can vary, models are not always the same, but be aware, but it's pretty easy. The note is down in the book for you already. That isn't right. Our last one is this one. That's our last one. So once you've got all them done, press it again and we'll move on to the third set of codes, which is right here. So the first one is that guy right there. And then the rest of them are all the same. As you can see, if we try and get by some of this light, it's all these guys with the arrows pointing down so this one isn't right now it is now boom that will open the secret entrance again now we need to look in to this pond reflecting pool whatever you want to call it it will give you the location that you need to go and search for so the little ring that you can see there that is glowing, that is where you are going to want to dig. You're going to pick up some little talismans. And that's what I'm going to call them for lack of a better word, talisman. So we need to go to that rock with the scarab on it. Then dig up. Now, warning, you might get some strange looking skeletons pop up after you. So be very aware. As you can see, that one's got, like, stuff growing on it. Coral. Die. There we go. They're not usually that hard to get rid of. There we go. Well, they call it medallions, in it? Okay, it's a scarab medallion. So, we just bring it over to here again. We place it down. 
into one of these three uh, slots, as you can see. Place the vault medallion, and then it will give us the next image that we need to go to to dig up. Now this one is pretty tricky, uh, but I know exactly where it is now, so if you get Crooks Hollow, this is really, really easy for you. So you want to go right here. <laughs> Right here, the picture can look a bit deceiving. But as you can see, there you have it. Wait for the skeletons to pop out. More of these glowing looking ones are actually pretty cool. So there's one dead. This one's got more coral on him. Come on, die. Block a bullet. Block a bullet. For some reason it wouldn't shoot properly. So there we go. We're at, that's the second medallion. Collect it. We'll take it back to the vault. This is what it's called. It's called the vault. we we'll place this one in. And then it will give us the next location that we need to go to and dig. So this one is a giant head uh, figure or statue on top of this hill or mountain. Or island, whatever you want to say. So we need to go to the top of it. There we go. There's the head. But now we've got skeletons. One of them's running. But I don't care. Because we're going to start digging this up. There we go. More skellies. These are really cool looking ones to be fair. We got the other skeleton coming back. Oh no, that was a chicken. Right, there we go. So that's the third and last medallion that we need. We take it, we bring it back to the vault, we place it in, and then it gives us what we want, what we need. So let's try. Oh, my ship is down here. I don't mind taking a bit of damage at the moment, just because I want to get there quicker and get it over and done with. There we go. So we put the last one in. And that should unlock the door over there. Bring it down. This is what we came for. The Shroud Breaker. This is really, really cool. So basically that is the end of the mission. All you need to do is go back to an outpost. It doesn't matter what outpost it is. Just go back to the outpost. Give this to the mysterious stranger. And your mission is over and done with. Like it says, return to the mysterious stranger at the tavern. You don't have to fight all these skeletons. I just run away from these, as you can see. So I'll put this down somewhere safe so we're going to remember it. And then we look on our map. We can go to Ancient Spires, which is right over here, which is southeast. So once we get there, uh, I'll bring you mortals back and you will see what happens. So we're here, mortals, at the outpost. So make sure you pick up the Shroud Breaker, jump off and go to the tavern. Now, I'm on this one where the tavern is all the way on the top of the island. I mean, this guy right here is where the quest originally started. So now we just give the Shroud Breaker to him. He goes through some more details, but you can read this one because it hints to the next tall tale. It actually tells you where to go for the next tall tale. It says visit Plunder Outpost. From that, mortals, that is the end of the first tall tale. Now, I told you it was really easy. You can do it on your own, as I have just proven. As long as you get a, a decent enough quiet lobby or server, let's say. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I hope it helps a lot. Um... And I'll hopefully either see you mortals either in the next video or the next live stream.